Okay, we get a little lonely at this hour, so we were thinking, why not bring in some friends, right? So we made a call to a man who has a lot of friends from all over the world, Zookeeper Rick from the San Diego Zoo. He bought some of his buddies for us to I hang out did, yeah. Nice yes, I did, yes, I did. Thank you so much for having us. I'm a little bit terrified because these are skunks. <laughs> they are skunks, but there's nothing to be afraid of. Now, first question we always get is, did you descent them? And no, we don't do that. We don't alter the animals just because we don't find a certain odor appealing. So the reason <laughs> coming this way, and if he gets threatened by me, he could skunk no. us. Well, okay, so sort of yes but it would take a lot because these guys uh, unfortunately their mom was killed in the wild oh. so they came to us as sort of a sanctuary to raise them and work with them for the skunks in particular hi sweetie uh, for these skunks in particular uh, they do have their ability to spray but they're so used to being around people and doing ambassador work with us that they're not going to you see them in your yard the best thing to do is leave them be don't worry about it they're there because they well yeah, you don't want to touch them and approach them because wild ones would get scared and possibly yeah. spray but they're there because there's stuff that they want to eat that yeah. it could affect your garden uh, they'll yeah. eat rodents so eat bugs and this insects. This skunk is so very studious. It enjoys reading my scripts. <laughs> yes, right? Well, this this is the female. This is Rana, and this is the male quarry over here. But the next guy we're bringing out, we'll this guy here, the stinker okay. of the forest. This is a tamandua, or tamandua. Tamandua. And they are a lesser anteater. Now, if people see him, and they're always oh, so cute. He's a little cartoon-looking yeah. animal. He's adorable. Yeah. But they actually can spray about four times worse than a skunk. Now, the way we know we're going to, a tamandua is really good because they're going to they're gonna let us know when they're going to spray. Kind of like a skunk will stomp their feet, flip How their do tail. they let you know? They'll stand up on their hind legs just like this, and okay. they'll spray right in the eyes of the predator. Oh, my God. This is not a good feeling. But, he's standing he's, up right now, and I'm in the eyes the of the But the thing predator. is, the other cue is they'll put their claws out to show how big and scary they are. Um, now, I got another the rainforest animal I want to bring out real quick right over here on this okay. side. I'll take over with okay. the yogurt because I want you to feed this okay. one. Right. Now the cool okay. thing about the tamandua here, real quick, this long tail, yeah. it's prehensile. Long tail on this guy, prehensile. Okay. They both share the same rainforest in South America. This is called a kinkajou. kinkajou. They're a relative of, go ahead and see okay. you want to see. They are, well, there you go. Wow. They're a relative of the raccoon, but they're also known as a honey bear because they kind of have a bear-like face oh. and they got that honey color and they do like their fruits and their sweets. Wow. Now the really important thing about both these species, they pay a very important role in their environments. Their environments are challenged right now. In the San Diego Zoo, we do a lot of work around the world for mm -hmm. conservation efforts. And so a quick thing as to why, let's say, the kinkajou is important for their environment. Well, yes, they're fruit eaters, so they disperse the seeds for the plants, but they also will uh, pollinate other plants because they love to get their face down on the flower, lick up the nectar, go flower to flower, they pollinate the yeah. plants that way. And we have some iguanas. We do, we have. I'm a little bit terrified he's getting to the bottom of this banana. <laughs> he's and he's like, going oh, he's, got, he's all over. Yeah. We'll go ahead and get the tomato out. He's having a good snack. Here. He really we'll enjoys that. Now, uh, these animals are like our, our insomniacs who watch our show. They're very yes, nocturnal. That, exactly. Right? So the uh, the kinkajou that was on earlier is a nocturnal species. Whoa, uh, the skunks, of course, are a nocturnal as well. Do you want to hold? Um, okay. You don't have to if you don't want to. I, I will hold. If you See can how I'm sure holding that, right okay. here under the chest? Under the chest. Right there with okay, that hand. You'll stay right here with I'll me. I'll stay right here with you. Okay. And get the right here right on here. the butt. Okay, on the butt, there on the butt. Go. Why do we hold on the butt? In case we have a little... Because they feel uncomfortable. You don't feel you're good? No, we're not going to have a <laughs> okay. bathroom issue. So this, well, we might. I mean, they're animals. This is this is a rock iguana. Now, people yeah, are used to seeing fine. standard iguanas from South America in pet stores and things like that. And unfortunately, they are popular in pet trade. This species, though, is very different. Only found on certain islands okay. uh, in, in uh, Jamaica and, and surrounding islands there. Their species are highly endangered due to the threatening of uh, things with the habitat and development. Yeah, right. So we're currently studying if they can be relocated to survive the developing of their habitat. So we'll see what happens. Do you want to meet somebody else? I would like All to All right. Beals, why Come over here, buddy. Whoa! All right. Who there is this? Go. This is Beals, and he is a raven. And also, like our skunks earlier, he was uh, injured in the wild and, and could not be re-released. Uh, so he's a great ambassador. And one of the things I love to talk about with this guy now, he is a raven. Uh, People kind of think, well, why is that special? I see them all over the place. Crows also, they're a very important animal to their ecosystem. In fact, there's a, a particular species called the Hawaiian crow that we have a bird project. They're actually extinct in the wild. Okay. And we have a breeding program on in the islands of Hawaii currently, and we're hoping about the next year and a half or so to start releasing them back into the wild for the first time. And they're important seed dispersers for their environment. Certain plants will not continue to prosper without this bird eating the fruit from them and spreading the seeds. Never thought of it that way. Now, does he speak? Uh, he does, but not on cue. Let's try it. Never more. Never more. Never more. Now he says his name. He says hi sometimes. I think we have one more little guy to bring out. For we you. do. Okay. This is a little guy. Okay. This is okay. a Demerol's boa. They're found wow. in uh, Madagascar, and the only boa, one of the few boa species found in the island of Madagascar. And again, like many of our animal friends today, they do face many challenges with loss of habitat. Now, are you brave enough to, to pet? All right, let's Just, give it a you don't try. Have to hold. Because you don't, you don't, yeah. don't want to, but yeah. you can pet. I'll pet him. Now, notice how he's smooth. He's coming over here. He's not, he's not even looking okay. at you. Okay, he's not even looking not at you. Not even me. looking oh, at you. He's very smooth. You're very right. Very smooth. Now, earlier that iguana was much more rough, and you uh -huh. would ask why the snake's so much smoother. Yes. Well, it's because notice no legs, no arms. No legs, yeah. The iguana can walk and move. 
moving through its habitat or its environment just fine. These guys rely on being nice and smooth so they can serpentine okay. through with minimal friction. Wow. Rick, I can't thank you enough for bringing all of your friends. My pleasure. Thank and you for having us. Thank you so much for making me look like a cool, calm, collected anchor oh, you, around you totally all these this. wild animals. You totally animals. got it. You totally got it. <laughs> Zookeeper Rick, our ambassador to the San Diego Zoo, for more information on their conservation initiative and to learn more about these animals, you can visit the San Diego Zoo.org. You're watching World News Now. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.